Hello, my loves. So, I'm in Minnesota. It's freezing. I have my hot chocolate and my marshmallows. And I'm like, let me go ahead and put some readings out because I have not done individual signs in forever. So this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is happy, safe, healthy, and doing well. Special shout out to my friend Kim. She just opened her own crystal shop. The link for her website is below, um, along with all the recommended readers. Uh, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I do choose multiple winners every single week for um, tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, um, runes. Um, what else? Runes, uh, crystals, Bibles, self-help books. So it is a lot of fun, okay? In the description box below, you'll find the information on how to enter the giveaway. It's super simple. You just have to shoot me an email, okay? I also do a $250 giveaway that's announced at the end of the month. Um, you do not have to enter for that giveaway. I just go to the comments section and just kind of read what you guys are going through, and that's how I choose that winner, all right? Um, Yes, yeah, so don't forget to click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. You don't want to win and then um, miss the shout out, right? Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs for my Aries, please. Love Messages, Clarity, Guidance, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. All right, let's see what we have here. The Emperor, there you are, Aries Taurus Energy. King of Swords. The Tower, more Aries Energy. Aquarius Gemini Libra Energy. The Seven of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy, and the Two of Cups. Interesting, Aries. I... I got to be honest with you. I feel like you have someone here who wants to be with you, Aries, or you want to be with somebody. But I feel like someone keeps on dodging, dodging the connection, trying to create this illusion that they are fine without you or that you are fine without them. But at the same time, someone here has a lot of love. A lot of love. Interesting. The Hermit, Virgo energy. And the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So someone here comes on quick and then disappears. Comes on quick and then disappears. Seven of Pentacles. And the Three of Swords. So this person, one minute, it's like they're coming in, investing in the connection, buying gifts, really shocking behavior. And then the next minute, this person will break your heart, confuse you, um, maybe uh, make it clear that they're in third party situations. We've got the Justice card, Libra Energy, and we have the Ace of Wands. And then they apologize and they want to come back. I feel like this is this is definitely a karmic soulmate. Oh yeah, this is karmic. Aries, why do I also feel like you could be dealing with somebody that's in a relationship? Aries, for some of you, you may be dealing with somebody who is in a relationship quite possibly because I see three people here and even though there's two males and one female, it doesn't, gender doesn't matter in tarot. 
Gender doesn't matter in tarot. So I, I feel like... Yeah, this is very on and off. Very explosive. A lot of emotional outbursts. We've got the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the Page of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Six of Wands. And the Two of Swords. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Aries, all right, so this just got interesting. So I feel that for, okay. I'm picking up on so many different stories. So I feel like what we have here is somebody who is quite possibly a little narcissistic, manipulative, okay? This person... Um, gives and then takes away maybe they have like a god complex like i give and then i take away right um and i feel like that is a karmic soulmate that you're dealing with here aries i feel like you started speaking to somebody new you may have met this person online this person is your more successful option this person shows love compassion, loyalty. This person is marriage material. Your intuition is telling you to work on this connection. Your intuition is telling you to work on this connection. But see, the problem here is, Aries, is that, you know, karmics are not that easy to let go of. They're not that easy to let go of. The Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. And the Hanged Man, Piscean energy. The Ten of Wands. And the Four of Cups. This is like a butterfly effect or a ripple effect. I feel like this person here hurts this person here, this pre-empress. In turn, this pre-empress will hurt this king of cups. Does that make sense? It's like, you understand? Because what I'm seeing here is we've got the Knight of Wands and the Hanged Man. So there's there's some type of, excuse my language, but there's some type of fuckery happening here. Somebody is doing something to, to throw grenades in a situation because with the Ten of Wands and the Four of Cups, they can't stand being rejected. So it's almost like when this Nine of Pentacles energy gets hurt by this person, they run to this King of Cups who gives them this love and affection. The Fool card, Aries energy. And the Empress. That's interesting. I feel like someone here is waiting to be this person's empress, okay, or emperor type of deal. So let me just, let's just backtrack. So we have this nine of pentacles pre-empress energy, right? And this pre-empress energy, I feel is in love with this Emperor King of Swords energy. I feel like this is one person. Now, this person may also be in a relationship. I don't know. But I kind of feel like this is the same person and it's very narcissistic. So this person here wants this person. But when this Nine of Pentacles pre-Empress energy gets hurt by this person, what they do is to exact revenge maybe or because they want to be treated correctly, they turn to this King of Cups energy because this King of Cups energy is spiritual, loyal, loving, and they find peace with this King of Cups energy, right? 
So it's a bounce back and forth between these two. You see, someone here is playing games and, 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 and procrastinating from making a real decision. Now, this, this Nine of Pentacles energy, this Virgo energy here, would definitely be, I feel, better off with this King of Cups energy, but that would appear to be too easy, <laughs> okay? So, because what we have here is a lot of drama and a lot of toxicity, a lot of emotional outbursts and just craziness happening up here. So I feel like what's happening is, is this person can't handle the idea that they're going to be rejected and not get this place of being emperor and empress. Does that make sense? So let's clarify this. Spirit, tell me about this emperor. The two of pentacles. You see, this emperor is juggling. I feel like this emperor is in a commitment. King of swords and the ace of cups. So I feel like this emperor is in a commitment. Okay, this emperor is in a commitment. This emperor is stating that they are in love with this pre-empress energy. But I feel like it's a mind game. I, I don't, I feel like the tower and the page of swords. So what will happen here is, is this pre-empress energy will find out the truth or, um, will will you know see something or or speak a truth or will find out a truth and i feel that with the seven of cups and the judgment card sagittarian energy this nine of pentacles makes a judgment call flips out and says i'm going to leave unless you you know unless you want to be with me and only me i'm gonna leave i'm tired of not knowing what's happening here nine of pentacles and the five of cups two of cups and the ace of wands So you see what's happening here is, is I'm just going to be honest, okay? What's happening here is, is this emperor is using this, this nine of pentacles energy here for sex, okay? And this nine of pentacles energy is in love. So I feel that, you know, this nine of pentacles pre-empress energy is constantly feeling regret and sorrow for allowing themselves to keep being used or hurt in this way. Tell me about the hermit. We've got the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Devil. So what happens is, this is definitely karmic. So what happens is this pre-Empress energy tries to get away and withdraw from this Emperor energy. And then what happens is the drama comes back in and it's like an obsession of needing to go back. I, I feel that not only is this karmic, but this person is narcissistic. Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. The Three of Swords and the nine of cups. So what happens here is this pre-empress energy here is saying, listen, I am a pre-empress. I'm abundant. I don't need this in my life. I have made this mistake over and over and over again. I need to do what's best for me because you're killing me. You're absolutely killing me. So what's happening here is, tell me about this justice card and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Ace of Wands with the Page of Wands. I feel like this is where this, this pre-Empress energy, this, this single energy, meets this King of Cups energy. King of Cups and the Fool. Aries energy, the Page of Swords, and the Four of Wands. This King of Cups energy realizes right away that this is a divinely guided connection. So this is a karmic situation and this king of cups energy is a twin flame or a divine counterpart. Six of wands and the hanged man, Piscean energy, two of swords and the seven of cups. I feel like this king of cups energy is very confident that all they have to do is be patient and eventually all the other options all the all this other drama and confusion will be cut off and cut out knight of cups and the magician virgo gemini energy the hierophant and the six of cups so i feel like this is a past life soulmate or a divinely guided counterpart i feel like you have known this person in another life at one point or another i feel like this is a master manifester here 
So this King of Cups is where it's at. Okay, I'm just, that's what I'm going to say here. So you need to leave whoever this is, this, this karmic here. You got to let that go because you have this unbelievable connection here coming in. Um, Knight of Wands and the Three of Wands. The Hanged Man and the Sun. Leo Energy. I feel like someone here has this energy of, I wish I knew what I wanted so I could just go and pursue it. Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. The problem here is it's hard. Four of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like what's happening here is someone's like, but I've invested so much in this connection here. Leaving it behind and dropping this is hard. It's hard because I've put so much time and work into this over here. Do you see what I'm saying? I've invested so much. I, do I really want to leave this alone? The full card and the wheel. The Empress and the High Priest. Yeah, so what's going to happen here, guys, is this is going to be a never-ending cycle, Aries, because this person's married. The, the, the high priest is, is, is marriage, okay? And on top of the empress, the fool, and the wheel, it's almost like you're on a hamster wheel. Spirit is saying, like, if you think, you know, the definition of crazy is beating your head against a wall and expecting a different result, right? You've all heard that, and that's what's happening here. Spirit is saying, you could keep going around the wheel, we can keep doing the cycle over and over and over again. You know, there's the sense of being stubborn of, I'm going to try one last time. I'm going to give it one last time. I'm going to take this risk and go in one last time. And you know what? This empress is always going to win. This person is committed. This this emperor is committed. Two of pentacles. This emperor is juggling. They are committed, period. Do you understand? So you're dealing with someone here who's married. You're dealing with someone here who's in a relationship. You're dealing with someone here that's playing games. Meanwhile, you have this king of cups energy that is the one, and you're not even focusing on that. Like you'll go to the king of cups energy once in a while when, you know, you're, you want that extra love and attention, but and now, I don't know, Aries, you could be the king of cups here. I don't, You take it as it resonates. I'm just reading it as it comes. These are general readings. You place yourself as it resonates. Um, but uh, this empress is always going to win. Okay, so Aries, you may even be the empress. It could be your husband, your wife who's cheating. So this could just be your message of knowing that, you know what, you're always going to win. I don't know. We have the loving man. Financial constraints. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And codependency. Realize you can't change your partner, but you can change yourself by healing your codependency wounded soul. Aries, someone here is obsessed. I I'm sorry, I don't know if it's you or not, but someone here is obsessed and i don't think it's like you're obsessed with the person i think it's an ego issue like it's it's a need to not lose do you understand like i'm not gonna lose i want this person to love me and i don't want to lose but you have to come to the realization sooner or later that you can't change this situation all you can do is heal yourself heal heal that ego and move on there's an overwhelming sense of, no, I need to win this person. I need to win this person. I need to win this person. In the description box below, I believe I still have it. Do I have it underneath there? Maybe it's in my other channel, Divine Spirit Healing. I had made a, a, a video about third-party energies, and for whoever this is resonating with, you should definitely watch it. In the description box below, um, Divine Spirit Healing 1111 is one of my other channels, and I had posted a video about third parties. Definitely watch it if this is resonating, because it talks about how a lot of times with third-party energies, it's all about the ego and wanting to win, and that's where this is at right here. Someone here, it's like an obsession just with the wanting to win. All right. Okay, guys, I love you. Bye.